This is John chapter 9, verse 1. And as Yahweh passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he went blind? Yahweh answered, Neither had this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of Yahweh should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me, while it is day, the night cometh, when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay, and said unto him, Go, wash in the pool Siloam, which is by interpretation sent. He went his way therefore, and washed, and came seeing. The neighbors therefore, and they which before had seen him that he was blind, said, Is not this he that sat in bed? Some said, This is he. Others said, He is like him. But he said, I am he. Therefore said they unto him, How were thy eyes open? He answered and said, A man that is called Yahweh Shah made clay and anointed my eyes and said unto me, Go to the pool of Siloam and wash. And I went and washed and I received sight. I like to say Shalom, and I give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Barashem, Yahweh Shah, that were honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to your sincere brothers pushing this word out across the four corners of the earth. This video coming up is going to be uh, basically a, a biblical archaeology finding of the pool Siloam, which is mentioned in John chapter 9. So this is basically just proving, you know, biblical archaeology, which basically means study of the ancient. So I hope you brothers will be edified. I'd like to say Shalom. this is the so-called the remains of the so-called uh, the pool of Siloam uh, which is dated by coins and by pottery etc to the first century common era. Uh, this of course brought us to the uh, New Testament uh, the, um, which tells us about the miracle which uh, Jesus when he was here on pilgrimage a Jew in Jerusalem uh, uh, made with the blind men uh, 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 putting mud on his eyes of that blind man and then saying to him now go and wash in the pool of Siloam. So this occurred here. Well, uh, we knew, of course, on Jesus, we knew on Jerusalem, we knew even on the Pool of Siloam, but here we can judge and see how large it is on the grandeur of the city in those days. Uh, this, uh, the text itself doesn't uh, transmit, doesn't give to us. So here the archaeological findings uh, uh, supply uh, this information which is missing. Thank <laughs> you. 